Yo, what is it guys, it's Fully Spaced and today I'm going to be showing you some 1.16 uh, interior design ideas. Um, this was actually originally built in 1.15, the most of this over the back here was built in 1.15 um, and then 1.16 happened to come out the other day, uh, so I played around with that for a few hours and came up with a few designs here and there. Um, not all of this is 1.16 based, um, so I will be doing more videos in the future on uh, interior designs with 1.16 blocks. I've only played around with them for so much, um, so I feel like there's so much more you can definitely do with them. Um, uh, yeah, I just want to kind of start this video by saying that and um, we'll get straight into it. So the first thing we have over here is just a hanging chain. So we got the chains, which is a new 1.16 block uh, in between the chain and another chain or on one chain. So if you get a chain, you can actually just place a banner on top of it like so and then place a chain inside here. And it looks like the chain's being hung, so you can have this on the edge of a castle, or hanging from a boat, or anything like that. Uh, it's just a really nice little simple design. Um, I believe I actually saw this this specific design from a uh, the Jerocraft video, so props to Jerocraft for that. A few of these designs I actually just played around with and came up. Um, obviously, you're probably going to see them somewhere else, but this one was definitely one I did see from Jerocraft. Um, this block here, also hanging on the bottom, is using a new item frame which I'm going to talk about now. So as you can see here, I broke both of them. Um, this command here, uh, I will put it in the description for you guys. You copy that into a command block, uh, paste it, and you'll get an item frame. Now what this item frame is, is it's completely invisible, and you can literally just place anything on it, like apples. So it looks like they're sitting on the floor. This will be huge for builders in, um, you know, upcoming builds now that we got 1.16, um, creative-wise. Obviously, you can't do it in survival, which is quite sad. But yes, there are a few things you can do. You can kind of make a little chain that you can pull on here as well. Um, so we've got an invisible item frame, and we just have a chisel polished black stone. It looks like a chain you can pull uh, that may lead to something. So, you know, you can do small little things like this. As well with the invisible item frames, you can make these little blocks uh, so that, like, the honeycomb is kind of trapped around. It looks like a barrel. Uh, we've got a leaking honeycomb everywhere and things like that. You can do the same with coal and the same with apples. So we've got barrel of apples, barrel of coal. Um, really cool, simple designs um, and just great fun. Uh, things that you can really do with these invisible item frames are going to be really endless. Um, as you can see here, I can label barrels and not have the item frame there, which looks so much better. You can create anvils with actual swords on them now, which also just looks... 10 times better so yeah that is something to note using that command there you can create so much cool stuff um so i'd recommend trying it out if you haven't already i haven't tried it out on any other version of minecraft beware that i do only play on java so you guys will have to let me know if they work uh, next up obviously you can see we've got a nice little blacksmith design using polished blackstone an anvil polished blackstone slab grunt on top then we've got a furnace here you can open up let the smoke out it goes up into this trapdoor and would extract from the building. Obviously, we've got our materials in these barrels up here. And uh, just a little trapdoor section going up the side there. Obviously, showing off the sword on top of the anvil creation here. I've also got another little light source. Um, nothing to do with 1.16, just another little light source that came to mind. Um, so you can have these levers looking like they're holding up these beams. Um, just a nice little, probably a modern light source I recommend. Obviously, you can now create this parrot that's been incredibly annoying throughout this whole video. Um, you can create a nice little hanging cage room using the chains, um, but I would also like to move him because he's going to drive me absolutely insane. So let's just take you away over here and uh, you can stay there for now. Uh, and obviously you can create hanging bushes as well with the chains and levers with hanging bushes. And, and using item frames, I can put berries in them to make or apples to make it look like they're some sort of, uh, they've got fruit growing off it or whatever you want. I I've re he came back whatever do you know what? We, we can deal with you um I'll just put you on the ground and yeah just sit there we'll be fine uh, anyway you can have hanging end rods as well just for a light source this is using a, a slab with a uh, invisible item frame and a torch kind of looking like the torch is being held to the wall uh, instead of just placed there like some medieval um torch holder thing uh and then obviously you have one that you probably see quite a lot of is the blackstone brick wall or a wall uh, hanging with a chain and a lantern on as well using the item frames for the bush same here um, nice little touch to kind of really create and make this look 10 times better by adding those invisible item frames obviously you're not going to, be able to do this in survival so creative builders have a huge advantage um, when it comes to that now uh, obviously we've got some more light, light hangings hanging light sources here using levers and chains then obviously we've got a nice little you can use this as a seat or a bed um, whatever you like, it's more of a jail bed. So yeah, 
Um, that's most of the 1.16 stuff kind of displayed and played around with. Um, we've obviously got this over here as well. You can make candles with um, invisible item frames, a block, a torch inside, and then obviously item frame, block, and a torch inside. That will create you this nice looking candle. Uh, we got a end rod similar to the one on this wall, but we're just going at a different angle now, so we're going straight across. Uh, a simple nice light source there, more of a modern themed. Nice little couch here, so we've got a stairs going all the way around. Underneath these two stairs is um, banners, and then in the middle here, it's, all it is is snow that's just been lifted up to a certain height. Obviously with snow you can go uh, many different waves, so that's how you create like wavy bed effects when you're creating beds. Um, so small things like that. you also got these little bamboo kind of indoor bamboo farms. Obviously, if you don't want them to go in stupid high, you're going to have to cap them off at some point, so I've done that there. Uh, just a small chair design here. I'm not sure if I've showcased this one before, but slab, trapdoors around, and obviously we've got a banner there, just inside, just a, a little backrest, so you can sit down and, you know, just chill. More uh, interior designs here as well. So we've got some hanging kind of um, shelves. So we've got ones made of stairs with slabs, uh, with trapdoors on the side. You can put stuff on top, and then we got one with slabs and trapdoors on the sides. We've got slabs and trapdoors here too, create a nice little table, and then obviously we've got a cookie with the invisible item frame there. Um, just a nice little touch really. Uh, little kind of lamp here, so bedside lamp you can have, created by an emerald and a pot on top of whatever you'd like. Uh, a toilet design here as well, so we've got stairs facing that way, two um, quartz blocks there. On top we have a bit of carpet, then obviously we have a banger ha banner hanging off this one here as well. Nice little kitchen design. Two barrels at the top, extraction for the furnace, uh, tea towel which is just red and white. Um, so you start with a white banner, get red, dye, and then use the one that has the lines going down, and you'll get this nice look, look, looking tea towel. Uh, just like a little knife kind of sink on the side there, you know, ready to be chopping up stuff, and then there's a sink area there too. A uh, nice little kind of lectern, so this is a lectern, little kind of just small design here. I'm not really sure what to call this one, um, but we've got barrels in the bottom. Just a small little place to read. Obviously you could have this against the wall with bookshelves maybe. That would make a lot more sense. And then uh, hanging down a lamp here. These are all small interior designs. Feel free to kind of pause this video if you want and copy them to your world. Or just take some inspiration from them. Uh, as well, a nice little wall hanging design here. So we've got bookshelves and then in between the bookshelves we've got barrels inside the actual wall. And then obviously it sticks out a bit more. Really nice little abstract design here. I actually really like the, the way I made this, to be fair. Looking back at it, it was probably one of the better designs I've come up with. Um, another little touch to the 1.16, so we can have gates. We've always had gates, I've always used gates and leaves on top of each other. Uh, but now you can put item frames on the floor, you make them invisible. You can think use things like kelp and sticks to make it look like the tree has kind of uh, been hit and it's broken or you're losing the leaves or something. Uh, so they're just small things to play in mind. Obviously you can now clutter a path with leaves and stuff. Um, so feel free to play around with that. I've definitely probably showcased it off in a few of my new builds coming up for 1.16. So there are always some small things to play around with. Here as well we've got some shelves uh, held up by some levers here. So obviously they just kind of hold them up by the way they're put. Obviously you can't put anything on top based on the way they're placed but it's there for a placeholder or just to look good really. A nice little bump bed design here, we've got a crafting table, chest on top, barrel next to it, bamboo in a pot with a leaf on top of that, uh, trapdoors going up the side here, uh, a slab there, trapdoors two here, we've got three barrels there, against the barrels we've got more trapdoors, and on top of the trapdoors we've got beds. If you can't place beds on top of the trapdoors, I believe this may only work in Java, so feel free to use slabs instead of trapdoors there, uh, that will help you a lot more. Nice little bunk bed design there. A little bookshelf kind of design here, so we've got bookshelves in the back, Armor stand here, lantern on top, pot, um, these looms are backwards and they've got buttons on them, uh, kind of making like these drawers, chest of drawers, uh, just a small little kind of um, cabinet there, and then obviously we've got the same kind of idea here, so we've got the original idea, and then I've got invisible item frames with slabs in them, which look a lot better in my opinion, something you can always play around with when you're building. Um, Drawers. So if you're building from creative, I would recommend using those invisible item frames. You can do so much with them now. Um, yeah, really cool design. So we've got bookshelf here and a little reading section so you can read your lectern. Have a chair here. You can build a chair. Um, really nice little reading desk with a lantern hanging right above as well. A nice little armor area here. So we've got swords in one chest, shields in another. And you've got your array of armor that you can put on before you leave your house for a nice little journey. And obviously we've got a light source underneath just to keep it all lit up. Just a small little kind of armor design there. Um, so yeah, nice one you could use in your house just at the front door before you leave. So you can get ready before you go on your adventure. 
Another one here, just some modern trapdoors. Uh, well, trapdoor designs that look like shelves. So you use modern, or you use trap these white trapdoors for more of a modern feel, and you can use them as a shelving unit on the top and the bottom, and then place stuff on top of them. Really simple design. You usually do this with just normal trapdoors, but you can make them more modern by using the iron trapdoors. Next up is a fluffy carpet. I've seen this quite a few times recently on my Instagram feed, um, which is just like dead coral and uh, dead but or coral fan. Um, so that that's all it is. It's just dead coral, and it just looks like fluffy carpets. Usually, people use dead coral for bowls and things, so that's sort of something to take note of too. And then obviously we got a modern staircase over here, so you could either have a staircase that goes like this and on top of fences, or you can have them coming out of the wall like so, and then put carpet on top. Um, to make it look even better, but if you're having it like this, I believe you can't put carpet on top So just take note of that one as well. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video It's just me kind of showing you a brief array of different um, 1.16 designs and a bunch of interior designs So yeah, if you guys have found something new here that you didn't know already feel free to leave a like uh, Also comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see more of and if you're new around here, please 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 don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the content and I'll see you all soon. Peace